So for the past two years, I've been traveling Australia with my partner. I've been basically living in a car and working from this car. I really love the whole living outside. The only time in the past two years when I was inside was when I was sleeping. Every other moment we spent outside. We went to a lot of places and we've just continued to live this nomadic life. We, we didn't want to come home. <laughs> It's such a unique country with such diversity that I'm drawn to. So it's very difficult for me to say this was my favourite place. But if I was to think about it in regards of my painting, it's the arid areas of Australia that really captivate me and give me this great rush and desire to start painting. When it comes down to it, there's a fundamental connection that all animals and all humans share, and that's the world we live in. Um, so when I am face to face or where I get to witness these incredible animals or trees or flowers, I feel right. From dusk onwards, these beautiful, calm and passionate colours start to trickle through the sky. So you've got the, the blues and the greys and the soft pinks and sometimes you've still got a bit of yellow and orange in the sky. And that transitional period when the colours are changing, they impact the shapes and the forms on the, on the land as well. So then the, the land starts changing colours and the green spin effects turns to this insane weird blue and you think well now we've got blue grass we've got blue spin effects everywhere I guess I somehow am living out elements of this childhood dream of being able to witness those really personal moments of nature and then take them through my experience and recreate them and, and share them with people and say, look, look at this incredible phenomenon really, you know.